Yeah, and again, I also see it in marriage the same mm. way. You know, we always say something that mm. Bishop says that he's anointed for, for his, his wife, wife and, and his, his wife, wife is anointed for him. And I think it's, it's the become same a way prayer now. because one of your greatest destiny helpers is going to be your spouse, Amen. right? Mm. Yeah, they've so been blessed, true. they've been empowered. Hey everybody, my name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie and it's the Sunday Sermon. And today I want to talk about what's happening in the season and what, what God is doing at this particular moment that we are picking up that he's doing. And for me, a big one is Bezalil and Aholia. Bezalil, you guys say hi. I've got my guest, George. Hi. <laughs> Let me jump into it. So I'm reading from Amp C, because even this Amp C, I know this Amp and then this oh, Amplified C. So it's from Exodus 31. So verse 1 says, And the Lord said to Moses, See, I have called by name Bezalel, son of Uri, the son of Her, of the tribe of Judah, and have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and ability, in understanding and intelligence and in knowledge and in all kinds of craftsmanship. Bezalel is full. Mm. To devise skillful works, to work in gold and silver and in bronze and in cutting of stones reminds me of, um, of Israel, that mm. they have this... Uh, gift Damn. of uh, cutting, cutting and setting stones mm. so in cutting of stones for setting and in carving of wood to work in all kinds of craftsmanship and behold i have appointed with him a holiab son of ahishamak of the tribe of dan and to all who are wise-hearted i have given wisdom and ability to make all that i have commanded you he that is the lord so this is a season <laughs> where God is sending divine helpers. Amen. So you see, it also grows in with transition. Because sometimes mm. when we're transition, with our kemeninis, we want now to know how to do everything. <laughs> but you see, in terms of being prepared, God has also prepared a Bezalil and a Holiab. Mm -hmm. I like to think, I'm thinking even for myself, even me, he's prepared me as a Bezalil and a Holiab mm -hmm. for somebody Someone. else. Mm -hmm. So you're worrying about something that he's already prepared the solution for. Mm -hmm. I mean, what he has filled them with. Me, I was reading, I was like, wow. He's, he's, he's gifted them with wisdom, mm -hmm. with skills, Inside. with ability, with with with, with um, skillfulness, mm -hmm. the ability to work with everything, gold, mm -hmm. silver, bronze, wood. Hey, he, <laughs> it, it's like, wow. So you can't sweat the small stuff. Mm -hmm. And you can't be in charge of getting everything done. But also it's going to be a season of teamwork. This is not about you and how great you are mm -hmm. and how you must be glorified and mm -hmm. how you're the, you have the biggest calling. Yeah, you have a calling, but there are other people who are going to, who God is sending. You know, that's mm -hmm. the other thing. Did they even know? I want to know. You know, I was taught <laughs> in Bible school to always see what's not being said in the text mm -hmm. and to see what has been left out because a lot has been left out. Like there's no way, even if Moses was told to build that tabernacle, maybe went to Manuazadi's life now. Yeah. <laughs> Where do I start oh, I with this that. thing? Could be God has already prepared people mm -hmm. that he's going to send that are going to help you to the work. Mm -hmm. And then of course building just makes me fire at this mm -hmm. point. So let me not just take over the show, but we are building. But also I thought and I felt in this season it's also come alive. When I was in Bible school, two words really Two word statements really stood out to me that we are being called to advance and establish the kingdom of god that's 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 the assignment mm. how we express it is different and that's why it's also important to have fathers in in different seasons so i remember a father who ha i had in a season one of the fathers i've had in the season is dr wally and he said to me one of the things that we're going to have to do pastor angie is package the gospel in a way that people understand it mm. So that's what Bezalil and Aholi have come to do in the context of 21st century modern, mm. 2019. God will send you divine helpers. So this is not just about you. You get the download, but God has already prepared an army to come and help you execute whatever the assignment is to build and to advance and establish the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Wow. Over to you guys. Um, I, love, I love that... Um, the context of it all was that there was an assignment first before yes. this feeling of the of the spirit of yes. uh, Bezalil and Aholiab, and um, you know the way the world works is in reverse. Yes. which is I want I want you to first tell me. <laughs> Which show, to do. show me your coming? yeah. Show me your skill. Then <laughs> I'll give you the task. No. Here it is. The task has been given. Then let me fill you with the spirit. I'm glad it starts with the assignment, yeah, because it comes from a place of service. So God had already released the, 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 
the assignment to Moses, mm -hmm. and then now filled the two uh, the Bezalil and, and the Holy Ab with the Spirit to have all uh, the knowledge, insight, skills uh, to work with everything that was required in that space. Mm. So the world works in the other way around, yeah. Mm. The work that you have us to show us the skills, mm. then we give you the, the assignment. assignment. Mm. Um, and I think it's also uh, it's also a call for us to see where we are doing things in our own way. Yes. If we see something is counterculture to what how God operates, we know that that's us working in our own flesh. In our own flesh. And the word says it's all by might. Not, not by, by power, power but, but by, by spirit, spirit, says the, the Lord. Lord. And then also when you're speaking, it reminds me of like marketplace. Mm -hmm. You've been given an assignment. So first you have imposter syndrome about mm -hmm. the assignment, but then you're forgetting, <laughs> please, God has raised, there are people in this organization who are here to help you, they are destiny helpers, mm -hmm. and they are even, even the Ministry of Helps, we can say that, to help you fulfill your assignment. So you've got to stop sweating this thing, and then also you've got to engage them, because when you're talking about really, you've got to engage them. Mm -hmm. If Bezalil and Aholiab are sent, and they just sit all day and eat <laughs> and do nothing, and twiddle their thumbs, <laughs> then we're wasting what God has put yeah. resources in other people. But then the world also teaches you everything is about you, and it's not about you. It's not about you. So look around, identify yeah. Yeah. Bezalil and Aholiab and the destiny helpers. Yeah, and again, I also see it in marriage the same mm. way. You know, you always say something that mm. Bishop says that he's anointed for, for his, his wife, wife and, his and his wife, wife is anointed for him. And I think it's, it's the same become a prayer now. because one of your greatest destiny helpers is going to be your spouse, Amen. right? Mm. They have, they've so been true. blessed, they've been empowered mm. to, and then that's why they say when you go into marriage, don't think about it for yourself. Yeah. Because marriage is also, there's a ministry, there's an assignment mm. that every marriage has been set with. So I think it's, it's such a it's such an amazing message yeah. because mm -hmm. it can make you feel like you know, a lot of us have our checklist of saying this person <laughs> must be X Y Z. Yeah, tall, dark, and so tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> you know that tall, dark, and handsome has he been filled with the wisdom <laughs> and the yeah. skill yeah. to execute this assignment? Yeah, because what does the tall, dark, and handsome yeah. have connected it's to connected that to assignment the that's been? Because you want it. Because the, the greatest frustration in life is you don't have the tools to go through an assignment that's been set before you. If you you're there to, to carve gold out, but you're just a guy for maths. Mm. <laughs> it's, it can be so frustrating. You're like, what do I do here? Mm. Yeah. But the right person. So even with marriage, it's, it's also to pray for, for someone who's anointed mm. for you, who has the, the, that download, the, the anointing that God has placed in their life, mm. so that when you come together. And mm. also, I think we can't be like you. I think that's the greatest yeah. frustration we have with our destiny helpers. We want them to look uh, like us, to talk, to like, talk us, like us, to have the same jokes. and but. They are different for a purpose. If they were like you, then there wouldn't be someone yeah. else needed. Mm. So it's also to have that humility that they're not going to come the, like how you are. Mm. And I'm also thinking you have to, there's an, a place of obedience. Remember mm. my favorite scripture equation is Isaiah 119, that if you're obedient and willing, you lead the fruit of the land. Mm. So there's an obedience required because Bezalil and Aholiab can be prepared. They are sent, then they refuse to go. Mm. Imagine that's a whole disaster. Yeah. So even in this season you have to understand where is God helping because I said he's going to send you Bezalel and Aholia who are destiny helpers who he's already prepared. He has trained them he has skilled them, he's pumped them with wisdom to do, to help you execute your assignment. But you too mm. are a destiny helper mm. to somebody else. Yeah. So you too have to agree to be sent. You have to agree to come out of your comfort zone. You have to agree to transition. Because it, I think the whole drama of seeing where they were from mm -hmm. is because they were moving from whether they were the, from the <laughs> tribe of Judah. Remember yeah. in Israel, we saw how the tribes were living, yeah. or from the tribe of Dan. It even required some people relocation yeah. because you've got to go and help Moses to build the tabernacle, which God has given him the download. Mm. So I think it's almost like I feel like prototypes and looking for different parts that fit into the equation mm. uh, of this assignment, but also not to be scared of the assignment because mm. it's not all about you. Yeah. It's not a weight on your shoulder. Pray for destiny helpers. I think one way that you can release the the feeling of being scared is that if you approach it from the place that this is service. Um, mm. You know, when you're serving, it's very different from when you're doing something as an obligation, mm. because that's what we tend to do. You are filled with the spirit. You mm. ha you are the right person for the job, but now you just feel like ah, I'm doing this for a paycheck. Even this person is not good to me. But it's really not that, because here you're doing a service, and I think it, um, someone in the Bible says that it, everything that you do, you should do as, as a service unto the Lord. To the Lord yeah? 
So if you approach it from the element that it's a service, and what I've seen in my own life is every mm -hmm. time I do something as a service, I grow in mm -hmm. tremendous skill in things. You just start picking up things and you're wondering, why am I starting mm. to get interested in this thing? Mm. But it's that preparation that we were talking about earlier. You're getting prepared. Yes. In very small, small bits, and then one day you'll just find yourself in this it's big crossroad. And you're like, am I sure this is where I'm supposed to go? But mm. if you track God, you'll see that He has been um, exposing you to things that are making you way qualified than anything on paper. Mm. Can say. And there's nothing yeah. every, okay, but it, nothing qualifies you like actually doing the work. Yes. Mm. And just to add, you know, you need to be have such discernment to the right people that God mm. has chosen. Yep. Mm. The story of the twelve spies sent out. Yes. You know, right? You send out the wrong people with the wrong yeah. skill set, the wrong, mm. <laughs> and they can set you back 40 yeah. years, right? Oh. So if you choose, because Caleb and Joshua were always meant to be chosen, because mm. yeah. they had the, the grace, they knew, yeah. they had the training, the wisdom, to when they see what they needed to see, mm. to report the truth. But if you now choose the wrong person, mm. right, because it's Moses knew who to choose. <laughs> if you choose the wrong person, it can just set you back so you also need that discernment mm. in this season of choosing the right destiny help us. Because help a lot of people will come, but not everyone is there mm. to, to Or not to everybody can see, mm. and not everybody has been filled with the skill. Because when That's you go true. back down, I even me, I want to go back and really look at what Bezalel and Aholiab have been filled with, that really God gave them a lot of skill. He gave them a lot of wisdom. He gave them a lot of ability. But then it comes back to, of course, purpose is not about you. Purpose is about others. And if you've been given this assignment, then you need to know that God will send you helpers. Mm. And it's not about you executing the assignment by yourself. The other thing I felt like I wanted to speak to, because you said you're serving, but you maybe you have a job and you're employed and mm. you're getting paid. You still are serving. Yeah. So you can have a job, you can have a salary, you can have a position. But if you're a Christian who's been filled with the Holy Spirit, anointed by God, to do an assignment and you feel like even the organization that you work for and the place that you work for is a uh, God has sent you there then he's filled you with skills mm. with gifts with graces that um, you can execute on behalf of the organization and the biggest thing about all this is nobody's going to celebrate you hallelujah <laughs> no, one, no one is going to know you no one is going to mm. celebrate you only Jesus Christ is going to know that this is what you did because yeah. that's another thing now our marketplace, our lives, even in church, everywhere, competition, healthy and healthy, you know, to be known, to be noticed. Mm -mm. This is not about that. This is not about that. This is about you have been prepared over time. You have been, I almost feel the word seasoned over time to do something. Mm -hmm. And you've been given the gifting and you just do it. What needs to come or the rewards will come as God flows. Mm -hmm. But I really want us to reflect upon that this week that you are a Bezalel and an Aholia mm -hmm. to somebody. Someone. You're being sent out to help somebody fulfill their God-given assignment and their purpose and a skill and to advance and establish the kingdom of God. Very, very important. And, but that you too need Bezalel and Aholia. But it's not all about you and what you can do. You know, I feel like saying you're not the Alpha, the Omega. Mm -hmm. We all need help. Yeah. We all need, you know, it's like how God puts different pieces of a puzzle together or even an equation like mm -hmm. a prototype together. All the components have to come together to produce the whole. So allow the people that God has sent into your life to execute the assignment that you have in your life. We've talked about the marketplace. We've talked about um, spouses. Others are children, you know. Oh, children also, they have a very crucial and a very critical role in the things that you you will achieve and the purpose that you will achieve. And then your friends, family, people that God has put in your destiny, you know. Um, begin to see them and begin to recognize that they are destiny helpers. So that's one of the greatest things that God is doing in this season. Okay, so let me see. Who's going to pray? Who wants to get people saved? I should be on a break now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pray. Mutu will lead the people to Christ. Mm. Okay. Because they need to be saved so that we can do this thing. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh. You know, one of the things that uh, what we are talking about uh, service, you cannot uh, serve someone that you do not know. Mm -hmm. You cannot serve um, uh, with ignorance. You need to know who it is that you're serving. Um, probably you're there and you're wondering, how do I get back? I've gone so far mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and I lost my way so far. But he's telling you just like the prodigal son that we're waiting for you because a banquet is prepared for you. Um, he also says that he loves you so much and he's just waiting for you to um, take a step, mm -hmm. look back and see him, see him, see how broken he is, 
and everything that you're trying to pay has already been paid. It's already been paid in full, you're not a debtor, um, and he's just saying that you just need to come back and receive the life that he gave you and live it in abundance. So repeat after me, Lord Jesus, mm. I come back to you. I ask you to come into my life. Mm. I am a sinner and I've really gone so far, but I know that you're waiting and you've been patiently waiting for me. Here I am, Lord. I ask you from this day to be in me and I in you, that as we abide together, that you use me for all your purposes. Mm. I claim you now, not only in the hidden place, but also publicly. I claim you now as an heir of salvation. I claim you now for my generations. I claim you now for my family. I say now that we are made new and we are a new creation mm. for your purposes and for your honor and that everyone who sees me will now see you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Wow. Amen. Hey, Heavenly Father, we thank you for every person that is um, viewing and is going to interact with this um, content. I want to pray, Father Lord, that we're in a season of Bezalel and Holy Ab. And I pray that, Father, you would first of all show them how you have prepared them, how you have put skills and capacity and ability in them and anointed them with wisdom. Also reminds me of Isaiah 11, verse 2 to 3, as a prayer, because it says this is a prayer that God was saying that the kind of gifting that he gives to us. So fill them up with the Holy Spirit, let them know, but also allow them to be obedient, to transition into whatever spaces and places you're calling them to go and help the building of the kingdom of God and to advance and establish the kingdom of God, no matter how it is packaged. And also, Father, I pray right now for every person, those who are stuck, those who are wondering how do I execute this assignment, those who are overwhelmed, that you would send Bezalil and Aholiab, that you are prepared, Bezalil and Aholiab. And even as George said as well, please send us the right people, surround mm. us with the right people. Remove everybody and everyone from our lives who is not supposed to be around us, Lord. But let us engage and interact with the right people to execute the assignments that you have placed before us in this season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. See you next Sunday. <laughs>